Perhaps the greatest tag team in WWE history. Definitely the meanest. The following is a six-man tag team match. And at a combined weight of 595 pounds, the Marin and Devon the Dudley Boys. You know, street smarts has a different meaning when you're from Dudleyville. Yeah, it's not like the easy streets of Perth, Virginia. Bubba, Devon, such incredible communication and continuity. It's hard to believe they're only half brothers. Yeah, the Dudley's been beating up folks for decades, and they're still going strong. And that is what's up. Uh, Bubba, Bubba, Devon, we're quiet. You guys, quiet. did you guys hear that? Shut Saxton, up, Corey. Don't ever do that again. Oh, such a snitch. The WWE Universe just exploded. The American Nightmare Cody Rhodes looks as ready as ever for action tonight. mission as of late to solidify his position at the top of the WWE. He reached the main event of WrestleMania. Now it's time to finally finish the story. You can compare him to his father, his brother, but Cody has been dead set on forging his own path to success. While certainly honoring his family, Cody knows this is his time to shine. And a win tonight goes a long way towards that. Yeah, now we're talking. And from Japan, weighing in at 187 pounds, the action champion. Gentlemen, this has all the makings of an all-time classic match, and I fully expect it to deliver on that promise. He said he wants to be the most dominant champ in history, so he will not let up in a non-title situation. A group to be feared, the Judgment Day. Yeah, a ruthless, 
Cutthroat Collective. And at a combined weight of 439 pounds, Finn Balor and Damian Priest, the Judgment Day. A unified front of highly decorated, highly skilled, highly dangerous competitors. When united, they are truly lethal. May they consider themselves inevitable, as if nobody can stop them. Well, nobody has so far. The Judgment Day, almost creative in their physicality. They take pleasure in it, Michael. I hope medical is standing by for this one. Oh, but Judgment Day, quite simply, will do anything to win. Well, there's competition, Corey, and then there's what Judgment Day is willing to resort to. Here we go as we start this three-on-three -three matchup. Great wherewithal on the counter. Oh, body checking them into a whole other area code. Crash landing powerbomb. A powerbomb like that will leave you with bruises and remind you of this moment for days. Getting him into the corner. Turned that one around. Counter from Rhodes. Great trouble here. Can he get it? Bonnie gets out. Perhaps some renewed life in him now. connects he finds a counter for Bubba Ray both superstars showing great awareness of their opponent's repertoire fires back with a crucial elbow pinpointing the leg Ooh, being hobbled like that something to keep an eye on Setting him up for the flat liner. Man, face first. Makes the cover. And a shoulder in the air. He is certainly sending a message, getting his shoulder up before two. He takes control. German suplex. He's looking a little off balance. Yeah, Bubba showed a solid game plan there. Able to get there in time. The thing about six-man tag matches is they tend to get wild and crazy the longer they go on. But I have a feeling that whichever team can slow the pace and grind things to a halt might have the advantage here. Stay in control of the opposing team and style of this match and reap the rewards of victory. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. So-called dentist. No, oh, right in the mat, face first. That certainly wasn't pretty. Nasty to watch. Finding nobody home. Counter. And now there's an opening. Damian Priest. Ooh, man. Pile driver on its way. Sit out, pile driver. You hit a move like that, you're not just trying to win, you're trying to keep your opponent down indefinitely. Punishing stretch. Can't lift anyone at that shoulder, it keeps getting worked on. And Finn Balor connected nicely there. Rocked his opponent. Into the corner now. Slam. Nicely done. Oh, with authority.
Uh oh, sets him up. Those two are in such a cohesive rhythm out there. It's like playing jazz, but using your opponent as the drum. Tag made, fresh man in. Oh. Whoa, not quite yet. Finn able to get out of the way. A precision strike like that had to be calculated. Rose turns it around. a response against Finn. In off the tag. He could pin his opponent right here. An easy kick out there. It'll take more than that to hold him down. Steered clear of that. He went right into that turnbuckle. Oh, what a shot. This match continues. Oh, target in the arm. This has got to hurt. Oh, right in there. And it's reverse pain for that mistake. Across the top rope. Clubbing forearm. Lay out with a power slam. Cuts off the attack with a big knee. He's been placed in the corner now. Uncorked a big punch. Oh, Devon got caught with the reversal. Boom! Drives his opponent down with a Yurinagi. Tag made. Bubba and Devon looking to bring this one to a close. Here it comes. 3D from the Dudleys. Damien doesn't know where he is. Hey, wait, 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 wait. How can that be fair? Come on, ref. Keep these guys in check. Now's the time to find that second win. Find that rush of adrenaline to push you forward. This is it. Kicks out. I didn't think we'd see a kick out there. Placing them into the corner. 
Now, this is a textbook example of how to bend the rules. Using the forearm to their advantage. Oh, dear. This doesn't look good. That's a free fall. Great timing on that knee to the gut. Bang! Tag's made. Uh-oh, going up top, Iron. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Ooh! Yvonne oh. Dudley drawing a big reaction from the crowd. And tag, he's in now. Finally! Oh, that can rock you. Turns it around, sole the foot meets the stump. Oh! Oh! Snap! Power slam! Getting air with that form. Oh, what a right! Yeah, that's some attitude behind it. Ripping at the eyes. And a massive elbow. Nice teamwork by these three to pick up the win. This one felt special for the moment the bell rang. We knew it was going to be a show. Yeah, it really lived up to all the expectations. Gentlemen, the final grain of sand in the hourglass has fallen. We are about to see the siren song of Scarlet and the ominous presence of Karrion Cross. Two things left for the competition to do tonight. Fall and pray. Come! 
Rattlesnake! When did they start allowing rattlesnakes in the Hall of Fame, Cole? I'm looking at the toughest SOB in WWE history. And his opponent from Victoria, Texas, weighing in at 252 pounds, Stone Cold Steve Austin! Oh, the Texas Rattlesnake coming in hot from the Broken Skull Ranch. WrestleMania 38 showed the Rattlesnake's fangs are still sharp. And no matter how bad you may think you are, you should never mess with Stone Cold Steve Austin. And this match getting started with, well, to put it in politely, one of the meanest SOBs to ever lace up a pair of boots, Stone Cold Steve Austin. I don't know about impolite. Frankly, I'm not sure he takes issue with that. Austin's meanness and nastiness define him as a superstar. His style is simple, but it's about as effective as it gets. We'll see if it continues to be effective in this battle. But tonight, he's taken on an incredibly driven Karrion Cross. The superstar who seems to be fueled by an endless supply of extreme rage and an insatiable appetite for destruction. This man is not your average competitor. Well spoken, Saxton. Cross is an absolute terror in the ring who doesn't put any limits on his attacks or his ambitions. He'll stop at nothing to get what he wants. And tonight, he wants to destroy. Suplex! Launched. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Take off. Good lord. Taking flight. The one-two punch of high risk, high reward. Picks the leg. Looking for the ankle lock submission. In the danger zone with the ankle lock. No, kicked out of it. Big time close line. Good grief. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. And wait a minute, what's the manager doing under the apron? This is why it's good to have a manager. It's good to have an ally who wants you to win as badly as you do and will introduce any tool to produce victory. One step ahead of Cross. She's got to be careful here. The referee will count her out. Power slam! And where does he think he's going? Look, he's just taking the perfect opportunity to regain some composure. Elbow throw, saying not today. Series of reversals. Ooh, tossed with the suplex. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. He's looking a little weary now. Austin trying to kick some you-know-what right about now. Big forearm. Uh-oh! Great reversal. Look at this, just stomp after stomp after stomp. Oh, man, that's like death by a thousand cuts. Raped across the top rope. Ouch! Clubbing forearm! Austin. Uh-oh. Cross fends that off. I don't know what it's going to take to put an end to this rivalry they have. It's going to be something fierce, I bet, Michael. And I'll guarantee it's going to be excruciatingly painful, guys. That's just a beatdown. Showing absolutely no mercy at all. What an onslaught. His shoulders are down. He forces a break before the count of two. I think this match still has a ways to go. Stop after stop after stop. 
You got to wonder if there's more animosity in this match than we previously thought. Thunderous clothesline. down the opponent. The end may be in sight for his opponent here. This is getting hard to watch, guys. We might need to stop this one. Down to Odin and a double axe handle smash. And he's a step ahead of Austin. Comes down across the head with the axe handle. Would you look at this? She is removing the turnbuckle pad now. And an inverted atomic drop. And will this be it? He did it! He did it! Here is your winner, Stone Cold Steve Austin! Steve Austin basking in his triumph here. Looks like it's time to crack open a few cold ones as Stone Cold celebrates a huge win here tonight. One of the most unpredictable superstars in history. We are about to see the brilliance in madness. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Sarasota, Florida, weighing in at 239 pounds, Macho Man Randy Savage. A superstar who has all is march to the beat of his own very unique drum. Yeah, the Macho Man Randy Savage notoriously used to say the cream rises to the top. Well, I would say that Savage is proof of that statement. Some would say the first man to absolutely steal the show at WrestleMania. Well, Byron, Macho Man is looking to steal another show here tonight. The WWE Universe basking in the madness. Oh, yeah. Here comes Prime Alexander. And his opponent from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing in at 200 pounds, Cedric Pallet. Obviously, this man's grown cocky. He doesn't respect the locker room veterans. But Cedric Alexander does possess the skills to back up the aforementioned cockiness. Beware of frantic, vicious assaults from the Macho Man. Yeah, this superstar is facing the fight of his life.
Here is the Macho Man, Randy Savage, and the decorated champion has stirred up the locker room lately. In fact, he's called out every superstar for not reaching his level. Savage truly believes he's the cream of the crop. Cream always rises to the top. We'll see if that will be the case for the Macho Man here tonight. But you know, Cedric Alexander has a singular focus here. He has proven himself to be an incredible athlete time and time again. The amount of fight in Alexander's heart might be at its pinnacle tonight. Yeah, Saxon, no shortage of fight in Cedric. He's had some of the highest highs and lowest lows, yet he still gives it more than 100% every time he's in the ring. Sure looks effective from here. He could do it here. No, he pops the shoulder before three. He really thought that was it. Look at the height on the knee drop from Macho Man. drop that'll jar your spine another they're not done yet with the atomic drop some hits from the explosive arsenal of randy savage savage has definitely done his homework tonight top-notch strategy from the macho man pulverizing the arm is a great way to create an advantage basically forcing your opponent to fight one-handed this incredibly hostile robbery has reached levels we don't often see around here this has been a and here's a cut Cedric Alexander processing this loss. An absolute statement by the victor here tonight. What a steamrolling. The WWE Universe just exploded!
The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Tokyo, Japan. Weighing in at 228 pounds, the International Wrestling Grand Prix World Heavyweight Champion, NJP. This competitor is one of the most dedicated and fair people I've ever met. They take their matches very seriously. Saxon, this isn't a place for seriousness. It's a place for all-out combat. They should try loosening their tie a little bit. This guy lives to compete, so he'll be treating this match as if he were defending the title. The king of strong style. Ready to deliver big hits and get the big win. That's the only way he knows how. And his opponent from Kyoto, Japan, weighing in at 220 pounds, the National Wrestling Fighting Heavyweight. We are taking in the totally unique style and attitude of Shinsuke Nakamura. A man who does what he wants, who lives his life his way. Doesn't hesitate to punish those who cross his path. Well, don't come between Shinsuke and his goals. Simple as that. Shinsuke Nakamura has become more villainous and more nefarious. Well, Shinsuke has finally become the main event star we knew he would be. Shinsuke Nakamura ready for action here. You have to admire the style and grace with which Shinsuke delivers his offense. Absolutely, Cole. It's a symphony of destruction. You don't earn the crown of King of Strong Style by pulling any punches. Nakamura's offense is something orchestrated out of speed, power, and conviction. We've seen how his offense can chop down opponents of any size, and I expect we'll see more of that tonight. And the champ will be facing off against one of the best competitors our sport has to offer. We've seen the preparation they've put in leading up to this statement-making match. If this was a title bout, there's no doubt we'd have a new champ tonight. Reversal from Nakamura. Man. Look at this. Boom, nice. Setting him up. Got the head scissors on. Oh, oh. elbow to the face. Stomping down. Boom. The strike connects. Oh, nails the midsection. He's lost some of his win now. Nakamura causing damage, causing harm. One reversal after another. These two are reading each other's minds. So close. Disrupts the attack with an elbow to the gut. Got to find a way to get out of this. Got to right to the throat. Trap the arm. Neck breaker. 
so smooth. Headed to the top now. From the top. What? Just crashing down with high impact. Uh-oh. Half and half suplex. Lights out. Shinsuke Nakamura brings to the ring with him a wide arsenal of strikes, but one of them stands above the rest, the Kinshasa. Does Nakamura's legendary knee strike factor into tonight's match? Absolutely. It's the crown jewel of his arsenal. But that said, Shinsuke has a variety of additional punches, kicks, and strikes he can call upon to take control of this match. It's all about picking the right weapon for the situation, and he may not even need the Kinshasa tonight. Nakamura escapes the attack. Oh, jeez. Oh, flipping the script on him there. Oh, running knee lift. He's absorbing some tough hits now. You really can't. Oh, hold on. Is he thinking of a submission here? Got the arm and is testing it. Arm bar broken. Double underhook applied. Butterfly suplex. Reversal. What a counter. Able to sidestep it. Looking for the front waist lock. And countered into an arm drag. Big forearm. He got whipped into that corner. Nakamura. Lining it up. Eviscerating. This one's all but over. It's off the pin at two. I cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. No one can. Rolling next snap. Brutal. Going up to the top. What are we going to see here? Dragon sleeper locked in. Oh, my God. Uses the edge of the knee. And Nakamura being impeded on there. At this stage of the match, they are clearly high risk. Oh, straight to the floor. Was trying to make a big splash with that, but there was no water in the pool. Chest as well. Uh oh. Reversal into the inverted DDT. Oh, look at this. German suplex. And not done yet. Another German. Trio of wicked German suplexes. Going for it. Cross face. Submission time. Uh oh. I think he's going to tap out. Maybe not. <laughs> what grace. Float over the. Float over. Nice. DDT. Headed up. He's thinking big. Taking flight. Delivering elbow after elbow. Beautiful takedown into the Achilles lock. The king of strong style close to tapping. Knock. All the pressure on the left knee. He's trying to fight it. He's trying to break out and does it. Kinshasa. Celebration imminent for Nakamura. Makes the cover. Well, I thought that was game over. Pure guts to kick out there. But Nakamura will have to remain unflappable and continues his assault to end this. A 
I'm starting to wonder if these superstars even have breaking points. Right, we're well beyond that now, Saxton. We're so far out in the deep waters, it might as well be the abyss. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. Look at this, going right after the left arm. Gotta hurt. He secured the victory here tonight. Come on, guys, sing along with me. Oh. Shut up, Saxton. You're embarrassing yourself. We are about to see something good. The following contest is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring from Auckland, New Zealand, weighing in at 231 pounds, the hybrid champion, Hannah Ray. Just look at the swagger on display. I love it. Swagger. Really, Saxton? You know a number of people in the back just despise this superstar. Well, the WWE Universe clearly disagrees with you, Corey. Oh, and what else is new? Keeps his focus 100% of the time. That's why he's the champion. WCW champion, a multiple time champion in Japan. 
And tonight, Vader looks ready to exhibit even more dominance. True intimidation on display when Vader enters the arena. One of the all-time greats. So many championship wins and classic matches. But above all else, the Mastodon, Vader, lives for a good fight. The OGOC in the building. Always ready for action. Aimed at the opposition like a machine gun. And representing the OC by way of Tokyo, Japan, weighing in at 213 pounds. The machine gun returned to WWE fully loaded. Anderson was still a top champion in Japan when he rejoined WWE. And now he's ready to take even more titles in WWE as well. Plenty of aggression, determination on the face of Anderson. And if you're standing across the ring from him, that's just too bad. Three superstars in the ring, but only one victor in this triple threat matchup. Hashtag triple threat. Simple rules. First competitor to earn a fall, whether by pinfall or submission, will be the winner. The rules may be simple, but nothing is going to come easy in this fight. I assure you of that. Down in a hurry. He switches it back around. Targets the gut to end the offense. Oh, solid form. That might be it. He stops the count. Oh, nothing fancy with that boot. Oh, my lord. Some superstars are understandably hesitant to exploit the no disqualification stipulation. Then they need to go wrestle a different match. This is the kind of match where you need to cross the line before the opposition does. If a superstar wants the W, they need to overcome that hesitation. And a headbutt for good measure. Ouch. Every strike more devastating than the last. Go behind the breaker. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. He's got the slugger in hand and is ready to go to work. And now Anderson is bleeding. And able to beat Vader to the punch. Big shot taken. That one's going to leave a well. He's absorbed some damage already. Oh, no, uh -oh. this won't end well. Uh oh. This tag team looking to end their opponent. Perks of having friends, Sax, then you should try it. Whip back into the ring. Face Buster plants him. And Carl Anderson is getting the crowd going. for the pin. Powers through after two. That was a long two count there. What a German suplex. Chop block turns the tide on their offense. Big forearm. Setting up. Sharp elbow to the gut. 
turns that one around. Oh, what a fall! And it's Vader who has to deal with a ruthless attack there. Yeah, very motivated Anderson. And He's not even close to being done yet. Oh, atomic drop! Oh, saw it coming and got an elbow for their trouble. Getting set up for something in the corner. Big overhand. Oh, what a knee lift. Somebody better check his nose. Take things outside. No telling what they have in store now. Vicious right forearm. Super kick! Heads out of the ring. What's next? Unloads with the boot. He's getting pushed out of the defensive. Hanging tough as this match progresses. No easy task in a triple threat match. On oh, the back of the neck. Everyone get out of the way. These two are abandoning all the strengths. Neckbreaker! Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. Big clothesline. Perhaps looking for some kind of equalizer here. Oh, no. Now that he has the kendo stick, I definitely do not to be in his path of destruction. What a punch! And gets tossed back into the mat. Oh boy, check your watch. Vader knows what time it is. Boom, what a punch! Uh -oh. He may get the three count right here! I think so! Crucial moment.
outside. This could get wild. What a forearm. A dump. Now look at the power. Side slam. He may get the three count right here. This is it. Broke it up. And the match continues. against one another, forcing them to battle for supremacy. Here comes a superstar with swagger to spare. MVP. Plenty of swagger, plenty of talent, but also plenty of ego. Watch it, Saxton. MVP's a self-made championship-level talent. The following is a no-holds-barred match. Making his way to the ring from Miami, Florida, weighing in at 259 pounds. Montel Vontavious Porter, MVP. MVP, one of the sharpest minds this business has ever seen. The MVP possesses unmatched mental acuity. He knows this business like few men do. I know this is almost impossible to do, but, but somehow this superstar has got to put the mind games aside. It cannot show fear against The Undertaker, or else this superstar will. Rest in peace. Well, this is an extraordinary sight. Goosebump inducing. The awe-inspiring entrance of The Undertaker. Darkness has completely engulfed this entire building. Admit it, Byron, you're scared. A little bit. We are seeing a legend in the flesh. And his opponent from Death Valley, weighing in at 299 pounds, the Undertaker. The magnificence of the Phenom. 
Truly a mesmerizing scene. The legendary Phenom creates an atmosphere unlike anything you will see. Talk to anyone who's ever been in the ring opposite The Undertaker, and they will tell you nothing prepares you for this. The stoic walk of the dead man. You know, Undertaker is a time-honored warrior of the ring. No matter what you do, I'm not sure there's anything that prepares you for The Undertaker. So many superstars have stood across the ring from the dead man, paralyzed with fear. Abandon all hope. The dead man has risen. The animosity is at an all-time high here as these two settle things in a no-holds-barred match. No move is illegal. No object is off-limits. This is going to be brutal. And I Cover! Cover! And he easily stops the ref's count. He clearly has no intention of staying down. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. What a counter! Now, oh, trampling the opposition. Coming down with a leg drop. Lands the elbow. Big impact off the leg drop. Connecting with a sharp elbow. Undertaker gets reversed. Gets him with the counter. Great strength being shown here. Piercing the throat. He can do it here. Just after two. He got close there. It could be do or die time. MVP did his homework. Big flying forearm. Matt slam with some attitude. Moves outside. What's the plan here? A baseball bat? With a weapon like that in play, this is not going to be good. Oh, close line. Corey, what's your best shot at winning in a no disqualification match? You lean into the stipulation and leave no stone unturned. Use everything at your disposal to get the win. Otherwise, what's the point? Vaulting plancha, incredible. That was coming in hot at breakneck speed. Going fast and living dangerously. Vicious right forearm. Oh, gee, straight to the cranium. Gets thrown head over heels by the exploder. Big boot. The cover, shoulders down. An emphatic victory. Here is your winner, The Undertaker! MVP just wasn't as on top of things as he needed to be here. I really thought MVP had this in the bag. Well, I bet MVP is just as surprised as you are.
Prepare for over 550 pounds of dominance. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from the land of the rising sun, weighing in at 558 pounds, Yokozuna! Success in the Sumo Arena only topped by his WWE success, Yokozuna. This man once held the WWE title for nearly 300 days, and I think he could easily repeat that success again. Man, look at the size of Yokozuna. Even more impressive than his sheer size is his ability to move around the ring like no one else. A horrifying blend of size, speed, agility, and power. A very focused look on the face of Yokozuna right now, who no doubt is ready for battle. I suggest Yoko's opponent take heed of the ominous warning, Bonsai. Here come the founding members of the NWO. And three men who changed wrestling history. And his opponent, representing the NWO from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 212 pounds, six. Hogan, Nash, Hall, here to do as they please. That's what the NWO is all about, Saxton. It's their way or the highway. Get in their way at your own risk. You'll wake up with a bad headache and covered in spray paint. this superstar realizes he cannot test Yokozuna's power. He's got to find a way to contain the destruction tonight. And here we go, as you can see, Six certainly fired up here tonight. That's because fired up is Six's default state, Cole. Inside the ring, outside the ring, Six is as explosive a competitor as they come. You're absolutely right, Corey. Tonight's matchup should be very, very interesting. But across the ring is a practically unstoppable behemoth, Yokozuna, an imposing competitor who uses his nearly 600-pound frame to simply steamroll his opponents. This once-in-a-lifetime monster has proven to be much more than most men can handle. I mean, just look at him. It's easy to see why some people see facing off against Yokozuna as a hopeless endeavor. Hit drop. I've been waiting to see that. Big forearm. Oh, what a clubbing blow. Averting danger with an elbow to the stomach. Six gets reversed. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Driven down face first. Foot to the gut. He saw it coming, taking advantage. Six adding fuel to the fire right now. Whoa. 
heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. And now gets tossed into the ring. Corey, what should be the strategy for the Hall of Famer Yokozuna here tonight? He needs to know his strengths and weaknesses. Yoko ain't gonna be running marathons, but he's very quick and very strong. He needs to weather the storm, get his opponent where he wants him, and then, to put it lightly, squash him like a bug. He's burying elbows in the midsection. Oh, short knee right to the body. Just rake in the face. Oh, the claw, not to the face. Where else would they do it, Saxton? Compromised position here. Lands face first. My goodness, is this even legal? I don't think so. My God, enough. So fast. Yeah. Hurricane Rana. Good grief. Incredibly important moment right there, being able to get to the ropes. It can't be understated how much that could have just saved this match. It couldn't have felt good being chucked around like that. Vicious right forearm. An elusive six there. He is getting rid of the turnbuckle pad. Don't say that too loud, Saxon. You might get caught. Taking this outside. This could be good. He's got him down. Is this it? He narrowly avoids the count. You have to think this battle is starting to weigh down on him. Elbow thrown to break up the maneuver. Uh-oh. Knees up. Got the knees up at the last second. The vendetta between these superstars has become so bitter that I'm almost afraid of what will happen here. Anything is possible when a rivalry gets this out of hand. Hopefully this is a chance for them to work through at least some of that pent-up aggression. Was definitely not thinking about finesse with that one. Was only thinking about dominance. Six with a reversal. Oh, a strong impact. Oh, Byron's favorite move. <laughs> Here we go. He is looking to do some serious harm. Impressive offense from Six right there. He's looking to finally put Yokozuna away. Hold on a second. He might be finding a submission hold here. Crossface, chicken wings in. Oh boy. Oh boy. This will kill. Look at breaking the legs and now breaking the arms. In the corner he goes. A perfect. Dragging his opponent out of the corner and a thunderous headbutt from Yoko. It is only going to get worse for the opponent of Yokozuna. From the middle rope. Bonsai drop. And six is laid out. But the ref isn't even paying attention. Never mind what you're doing. Make the count. And the count doesn't even begin. I was not expecting that from him at this point. I don't think anyone inside this building was expecting a kick out after that move from Yokozuna. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. Oh, look at this aggression. Just pure brutality. Come on, easy. Thinking about a submission here, Case. Boston. And the rope forces the break. Great effort, though. Caught in a bad position here. Down the windpipe. Knew what was coming there. Nice striking combination. Does the official not see him removing the turnbuckle pad? Keep your voice down. Oh, that was inventive. This could be it. Cover for the win. He kicks out at two. How in the world did he kick out? Ooh, elbow strike. The 
mistake by six. Shifts it back onto him. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Ooh, pinpointing the trachea. trying but six on the losing side here yokozuna might even crack a smile after a victory like this And here comes one of our favorites. The following champion versus champion contests is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Japan. Weighing in at 220 pounds. The ring of pro wrestling champion, Tank. Ole! You are looking at some highly motivated competitors in this match, looking to steal the show and capture the attention of the entire WWE Universe. The champ knows the competition level's at an all-time high. He needs to show he's above all competitors. Oh, yeah, I am pumped for this guy. And his opponent from Birmingham, England, weighing in at 205 pounds. One half of the International Wrestling Grand Prix Junior Heavyweights Tag Team Champions, Dan Moore. Social media has been buzzing since this match was announced, and I think the competitors plan on delivering on that hype. Doesn't matter the situation, the champion always has a winning game plan.
That's the bell, and this match is underway. Despite the title not being on the line, you have to imagine that there will be major championship implications should the challenger pick up the victory. Absolutely, Michael. He is betting on himself, and he truly believes that he can beat the champ here tonight. But then you have a challenger who sees this as a golden opportunity. The championship may not be on the line tonight, but if you can overcome the champion here, that title shot can't be too far away, guys. Yeah, he's practically salivating for it. Neck breaker after the float over. That was pretty. Countered it just in time. He had it scouted. Slam. Expected that one. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. And responds with a counter of their own. Back elbow. Cover. Shoulders are down. Oh my, how in the world did he kick out of that? That's still a quick kick out at this point. No oh, piercing the sternum. Oh, God, that, that, that's a bad landing. That was playing with fire and getting burned. The decision to take such a risk at this juncture is questionable. Well scattered reversal there. Military press. He's getting a little batter now. Boom! Good night! What a knee! Toss back into the ring. Big risk here. He may be counted out. He might be oblivious to the count, guys. Oh, man! Sent to the apron, hooked up. Oh man, right to the forearm, kicks, punches. You can't get caught in a hailstorm like that if you want to win. Oh. Boom, right to the button. Close line. What impact. He's got the answer for that one. Not the position you want to be in right now. Straight impact on the throat. And he goes for the pin. And finally, finally, he picks up the victory. Here is your winner. Putting the locker room on notice with a win like that. A win like that proved he is not messing around. That match was all business from him, Corey, and that worked. I got a feeling this match is going to be 
two. Sweet. One of the most dominant and decorated teams in the world. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the OC from Gainesville, Georgia. Weighing in at 218 pounds, the phenomenal AJ Styles. The most dominant club in the world, marching towards the pinnacle of their collective careers. Scanning the scene in the ring tonight, and the OC is looking to start up a fight. There's no escape, and that's for sure. Always looking for war. One of the UK's best exports. And his opponent from Dudley, England, Weighing in at 175 pounds, Tyler Bates. This is a man who captured the NXT UK Championship as a teenager. Yeah, and he's only gotten better since. Same fighting spirit, but stronger and smarter than ever. It's go time, what a major challenge. I would go as far as to say this might be one of the biggest challenges this superstar has ever faced in his career. One of the youngest champions ever in the history of WWE, Tyler Bate has found tremendous success early in his career. An absolute student of the sport, Bate has breathed new life into that classic UK style. Throwing his impressive strength and athleticism, and there's no telling how many more accomplishments he'll add to his resume. Size has never been an issue for Bate. This is a man who's always standing tall. And across from him, the phenomenal AJ Styles. Very few superstars have had the success he's had in every corner of the globe. You just need to watch one of Styles' matches to understand that success, Saxton. Looking at this match, I think this might be another clip on his highlight reel. Goes into the pin, and a kick out before even one there. It is going to take a lot more to keep him down. He saw that one coming. Answer after answer for each other's offense here. Saw that one coming. AJ just rubbing it in now. And a reversal by Tyler Bate. Kick to the midsection prevents the attack. Phenomenal blitz. Oh, he knew what was coming. Bate looking to lock it in. Billy Goat. But Billy Goat's curse is broken. He's been placed in the corner now. Looking for a scoop slam, but from behind. Inverted DDT. Ooh, what a nasty kick. Insulting. Trying to get that mental edge. You can't let yourself get psyched out. Tyler didn't look too comfortable there. Yeah, AJ finding reason to raise his confidence with that move.
pinpointing the leg in the corner. We know that taking out the legs is one of the most effective strat. AJ Styles rolls through into the calf crush. Nice job getting to the ropes. Really had no choice. Ooh, that got turned around on Styles. Oh, launching himself in the ropes. The way these superstars have been clashing over the past couple of weeks, there's been this feeling that something is coming. Who knows, Cole? These competitors don't see eye to eye, and that's definitely created friction as of late. But who's to say where that friction takes them? Ooh. Solid punch. Good timing with that reversal. Nice drop kick. Make it twice. They are rolling here. Ducking out of the way and delivering the cross body. That should do it right there. No. Getting that shoulder up now is huge. Come on, AJ caught him. He's returning fire. Uh-oh. EDT, crucial reverse. Oof. Great response to AJ there. Quick exchange, reversing the reversal. And up the turnbuckles we go. From the top, elbow drop, good lord. And Bates steers clear there. Oh, that's a cradle. DDT! Oh, man. Down on the jaw. And bite your tongue with that. Jeez, that could take you out. For the win! Two count! Finally, it's over. Here is your winner, the phenomenal AJ Styles! A big win here for AJ Styles. Tyler Bate tried everything he could, but he just came up short. Hopefully, he used this as a moment of reflection to see what worked and what didn't because clearly something didn't. Here comes Hall of Fame royalty. It is good to be king. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Memphis, Tennessee, weighing in at 235 pounds, Jerry the King Lawler. Love him or hate him. You can't deny his contributions to this industry spanning decades. Yeah, whether inside the ring, at the announcer's table, the King has paved his own very brash path in WWE. Yeah, Byron, but he has the toughness to back up everything he has to say, both in and out of the ring. Always has a trick up his sleeve. Of course he does, Cole. You don't get to be the king for this long without that kind of resourcefulness.
Get ready to raise some hell. One of the most exciting competitors to watch inside the ring. And his opponent from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 212 pounds, X-Pac. The workhorse of the NWO and D-Generation X, X-Pac is continually fueled by defiance. And he's here to kick tradition in the, well, you know where. No, I don't, Byron. Why don't you tell me? Uh, 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 someone cut my mic. Say it, Byron. The bell is sounded, and the king looks poised to defend his throne. His wealth of experience gives him an edge over opponents of all different sizes. You can feel the energy from this capacity crowd. If the king has anything to say about it, that crown isn't going anywhere. For years, legions of opponents have tried to storm the gates and knock Jerry Lawler off his throne. But his reign continues, except when he meets me. But X-Pac isn't concerned with any of that right about now. He's always kind of on his own frequency, and honestly, that seems to work for him. Yeah, X-Pac is his own man and does things his own way inside the ring, which can make him unpredictable and hard to deal with. Oh, man, right to the esophagus. Headlock. Oh, a cheap shot right above the eye. Rake right across the back. And X-Pac's focus got lost there. Yeah, that crafty Memphis style from Lawler paid off. Bam! Oh. Taking it outside the ring now. X-Pac is loud, brash, and sometimes over the line. Corey that has to give his opponent extra motivation to shut X-Pac up. As outspoken as X-Pac is, he has the ability to back it up. X-Pac's lightning speed, next-level stamina, and smooth martial arts offense helps to back up all the trash talk. Now, laser focused on the temple and back of the neck. Up they go! He is delivering elbow after elbow. Yeah. Ref still counting, close to calling it. Hurry back in. x pac Oh, taking it right to him. No way. Boom, what a right. Gosh, there's x pac with a counter. Oh, that hurt right to the kidney. Golly. This match is brutality starting to show on him. Yeah, but you can't count anyone out yet. This match could still go either way. Well. Oh, nice back rotation suplex. Uh-oh, he could be looking for a submission here. The cross-face chicken wing. I'm not quite sure if this man should... Look at breaking the legs and now breaking the arms. He turns it around. Counter after counter. X-Pac. Is there any life left in the king? There's been a lot of back and forth between them these past few weeks. Yeah, Cole, I don't know how this is going to end, but I have a feeling it's not going to be pretty. Paying it right back with a reversal. Takes their breath out. Effective counter. Pac got caught with a reversal. Oh, back elbow. Looks like King is loading up. Now the King, Jerry Lawler, the world favorite pile driver. Big opening for Lawler to take this. Shoulders down. 
Jerry Lawler got it done. Here is your winner, Jerry the King Lawler. And the victor, Jerry Lawler. Tonight was not X-Pac's night, but you know you can't keep the kid down for long. The dead man is here, and there is no turning back. Every time he heads to the ring, it is an unforgettable moment. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Death Valley, weighing in at 309 pounds, the Rightfully, one of the most feared superstars in history. Nobody, not a single competitor, has earned their stature here in WWE as much as The Undertaker. The true definition of a legend in this business. There will never be another Undertaker. Lock up against Eddie Guerrero. Defend against Guerrero, family values, or uh, well, lack thereof. Pound for pound, one of the best around. 
a naturally gifted cruiserweight and phenomenon. From El Paso, Texas, weighing in at 205 pounds, Eddie Guerrero. From the legendary Guerrero wrestling family. Yeah, but he doesn't need them. He's his own man now. A mean streak a mile long and uses a lot of cruel tactics in the ring. You call it cruel, I call it doing whatever it takes. Eddie Guerrero always sporting that cocky look on his face, but to Guerrero's credit, he always backs it up inside the ring. He may be a cruiserweight, but he can take on anyone. Just look into the eyes of The Undertaker. Cold, dark, menacing. There's no one like him. And that's what makes him so dangerous. Really a one-of-a-kind icon. His personality, the way he moves in the ring, his offense. No one does it like The Undertaker. Yeah, The Undertaker is truly exceptional. He's as unique as they come in this business. With that in mind, he has to watch out for Eddie Guerrero. Guerrero may not be the biggest dog in the fight, but he might just be the smartest and the craftiest. Eddie knows that sometimes you've got to do whatever it takes to get the job done. He's got that Guerrero fire you just can't teach. To the sky. What impact. Guerrero was ready there. Breathtaking head scissor takedown. An agile escape. Sequence of reversals here. Both superstars clearly studied game tape ahead of time. Not to underestimate The Undertaker here, but you could argue that the key to this matchup is brains versus brawn. We know that Taker has the power game on lock, which is why you should rarely, if ever, try to challenge him on that. But I don't care how big you are, but if you can outsmart him instead, here's the cover. No, he kicks out. These men knew this match was going to be hard fought. Spot Buster. He's going for it all. From the top, he avoids the damage. Did you see that? Risking it all and taking an awful fall. The Undertaker throwing every ounce of his power behind that move. Leg drop! Hits him with the counter. The referee counting, urging them to get in the ring. The dead man has decided this ends now. Tombstone from The Undertaker. No way Eddie's coming back from that. Looks like some words have been exchanged. And body language is telling me they might not have been the kindest. Crank in the head. Guerrero's falling victim to the onrush right now. A series of disabling maneuvers from Undertaker. Eddie with a reversal. Momentum going back to Eddie's corner. Shoulders down. He breaks the ref's count before two. Not quite enough to put him away. Oh, right in the mat, face first. That certainly wasn't pretty. And that prevents Eddie's attack. Oh, uncorked a big punch. And finds a counter. Could be thinking about a power bomb. Way up there. Sit out, crucifix, power bomb. Two. No, he gets 
the shoulder up. That is just pure instinct at this point. Uh-oh. Oh, and just completely off target there. I think there's going to be some second guessing about trying that move again. Well placed elbow to break up the maneuver. Thrown back in under the ropes. Eddie Guerrero trying to ramp things up. Pretty drop kick. Guerrero. And a brain buster. This is Eddie's chance. Cover. He, no way, no way. Oh my gosh, The Undertaker resists his demise. Amazing resilience from the dead man. What other option, what other choice does Eddie have now? A desperate Guerrero is a dangerous man. No love lost between these superstars right now, really trying to prove who a better man truly is. A shot right to the back of the neck. What are they doing here? Eddie is in a haze. Big trouble might be coming for him. The Undertaker looking to finish this now. Tombstone. What devastation from The Undertaker. Finds the room to land a back elbow. Crucial turnaround there because he was falling behind. Time now for Eddie to get his energy up and claw back into the fight. himself to be an absolute student of the game. Bam! Down he goes. Oh! And he's taking this to the outside now. And he tosses it back in now. The crowd is fired up. Undertaker is fired up. Eddie Guerrero! Brain Buster! The Undertaker in a bad way! Cover! Eddie Guerrero gets the win! Here is your winner. Such an important win for Eddie. I'm amazed at what happened and that we're looking at a defeated Undertaker. The dead man's fallen tonight and I don't know what to think. Here we go, guys.
The following is a tag team match set for one fall. Introducing first from Tampa, Florida, weighing in at 200 pounds, Rogers, Rick Storm. Matches like these with talent of this caliber, this is why sports entertainment is an art form. A very high-pressure situation ahead for this guy, but he is more than ready for it. From dashing to demented, Cody Rhodes is here. A horrible fate for this formerly handsome young man. And his partner from Marietta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, Cody Rhodes! You know, once upon a time, Cody called himself dashing. Now he's consumed with ugliness. Yeah, he's even brought paper bags to the ring and demanded that fans and the crowd wear them. I'm surprised he hasn't made you wear one, Saxton. Well, if that was the case, you wouldn't hear me on commentary, Corey. I fail to see the problem there. Cody says he'll win tonight, or he will never show his face again. Is that a promise? I hope it is. The Phenom is here, and scarier than ever. Undertaker, full of evil ambitions, wants to take control of WWE. Well, I got a question for you, Cole. Who's going to stop him? And from Death Valley, weighing in at 330 pounds, the... The Lord of Darkness. We've seen him performing dark rituals, channeling the evil energy of other superstars. And I truly believe that he's been successful. No one is safe. Says he's ready to unleash a plague of evil. And unfortunately, Cole, I think he's here to make good on that threat. The Undertaker's frightening power and his agility. But now he has the forces of evil at his side. Hollywood is in the house. Corey, is it just me or is this entire arena shaking? And representing. The NWO from Hollywood, California, weighing in at 302 pounds, Hollywood Hogan. Already a dominant champion in WWE. Now Hollywood Hogan rules over WCW with an iron fist, thanks to the NWO. Success in sports entertainment. 
Unmatched box office power and unmatched physique. Cole, what you gonna do when Hollywood runs wild on you? There's the bell, and this tag team match is now official. Two very talented teams here, but it takes more than just that to succeed as a tandem in WWE. You have to be completely in sync to rise to the top of this division. Oh, oh man. Suplex! He's got him down! Is this it? And the referee stops the count before two. Doesn't bow well if you still can't get more than a one count by now. Just cranking the head. Drops the knee. How did scouted? Knew what was coming from Taker. Uh oh. Look out. Oh, backbreaker. Driving a knee into the arm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, driving the elbow. Uh oh. Not. And will this be it? And he gets the shoulder up before two. I didn't think this match was close to over. to the stomach gives them separation. Sent into the corner. In full control here. Face full of turnbuckle. He's in off the tag. Oh, and he's smashing the face. Just pinning the arm down and then dropping the knee for more punishment. Planning on what to do next. Ooh, that's how you dominate your opponent. Just a perfect mix of pure power and bad intentions. And a series of vicious stomps. The proverbial mud hole has been stomped, and now it's time to walk it dry. Oh, man, what a strike. Tagged into action. Exchange. He went right into that turnbuckle. A counter answered by another counter. These two battling to a dead heat with these reversals. Oh, he retaliates. Ooh. Across the top rope. Ooh, what a hot shot. Uh oh. Stiff elbow will break that up. Both competitors showing how well they know one another. Sidewalk slam! Almost drove him through the ring. Look at this, going right after the left arm. Gotta hurt. That arm's gonna be sore for a while. Could affect all their offense. Shoulder blades. And set right into the corner. Bludgeoning their opponent. And with an onslaught of strikes like that, it's clear they have nothing but punishment on their mind. Hogan, he thinks he has it. Getting the shoulder up before two. He's not letting fatigue set in or get the better of it.
A big kick to the gut and a clubbing forearm. It's a rather crude facial reconstruction. That's not very nice. That's not right. It goes without saying that there is a certain disdain for your opponent when you pull off something like that. And tag. He did it. Let's go. Caught with the boot. Avoiding contact. Arm ringer. Bang! What a punch. These superstars just can't see eye to eye. But maybe they can sort out their differences in the ring. If recent events are any indication, I'm not sure things can be solved so easily. Yeah, this rivalry might not. Will this be enough? Yeah, no. He doesn't get the three. There's some shock in the arena after that kick out. Vicious right forearm. That menacing nature of Taker challenged a bit there. Oof. Able to reverse. Come on. Good night. This could put a stop to the Undertaker. The cover. A oh, shoulder up before three. Amazing kick out from The Undertaker. His resilience tonight is unreal. And you can sense the desperation mounting as that last move couldn't finish things. Tag is registered. Close line. Kick to the gut. Oh, brutal form. Tag is made. Place kick to the gut. Another damaging Bang. kick. Oh, yeah. Close line to follow. Can't quite get him there. And he sends him into the corner. And like a pie and a nice short jab to the bridge of the nose. Oof, that's gonna leave a mark. Heels a bit now. This is what from the middle rope. Oh, the high risk doesn't pay off. Tag made. Tag made. Powerless position to be in right now. Big boot to the gut and a thunderous forearm to follow. Face gouge. The Undertaker is tagged in. Undertaker counters. The Undertaker with the cinch top. It could be over here. This is it. But uh, teammate makes the save. Man, just in time. Looking for a high risk, high reward situation. Sky high. Oh my God. Fighting tooth and playing possum. Shoulders down. He wins. He wins. Here are your winners Rogers, Rick, Storm, and Cody Rhodes. Making their case for one of the best teams around with that win. Two men with one common goal can be a dangerous thing. They're putting the entire locker room on notice.
Things are about to get good. The following contest is a no holds barred match. Making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 223 pounds, the International Wrestling Grand Prix Global Champion, David Flynn Lee. This is a competitor who has earned the adoration of the WWE Universe by defying authority figures and doing things their own way. Uh, no doubt, Michael. They do have a bit of an attitude, but that's their X factor in the ring. You guys see an antsy hero. I see a competitor who knows they can't get it done the right way. Here comes the founder of Dead Man Inc. And his opponent from Death Valley, weighing in at 305 pounds, the Undertaker! Taking souls and digging holes, Big Evil has arrived. The dead man's opponent is about to fight for his life. Yeah, the dead man loves to dish out punishment. And I'm sure tonight will be no different. This no holds barred match is now underway. No rules, no limits. These superstars are ready to throw all cops into the wind. Watching this is going to be like watching a car crash. Absolutely. It's going to be great. He was waiting for him to make his move. Placed into the corner. And full control here. Oh, Face God. first in the turnbuckle. And that's what we call the tree of woe position, folks. Ah, he's got that boot right up against his face. Come on. Look, the most intelligent competitor in a battle knows that there are many roads to victory, including the low road. A splash. Look at the power of Tech. Here's the cover. Clearly set again. This one is headed outside, guys. Oh, God. Stop in the leg. Now he's been put on the defensive. Yeah, as Taker was putting that surprising agility to good use there. Dodged right on cue. Every maneuver being returned with counter fire. Fisherman suplex. He deflects it right back. I have to think that a no disqualification match favors the most heartless competitor in the ring. Well, that's mostly true, but even the most rule-abiding superstars have risen to the occasion of a no disqualification match. When there are no rules, there's no wrong and right. And what need is there to go looking under the apron like this? The universal signal for extreme. The kendo stick has entered the fray. And the damage is just going to keep on coming if you can't find the defense for this. And now thrown back into the ring. Able to give him the slip. And an inverted atomic drop. There he goes, right into the corner. Here he goes for the win. And only gets a one count. 
This is where great cardio makes all the difference, helping you stay alive deep into the match. This won't end well. Uh-oh. Great counter! And a big oh. boot! Oh, oh, man. What's he open to find down there? I have no clue how much lawn work needs to be done in this one, but we have a shovel now. Able to avoid there. Oh, elbow right to the bread basket for their troubles. Back and forth, back and forth, looking for the advantage here. Irish Beating down with a shovel, straight pummeling them with it. We have seen these men unleash a lot of devastating offense. Incredible that this match hasn't ended yet. It might just be a matter of time. This one is close to coming to a head. Bad predicament right here. Ooh, right to the throat. it done, folks. Here is your winner, The Undertaker! A victory here for The Undertaker. Sometimes you have to remind people whose yard it is, and Big Evil did just that. Claimed his yard, and now he's ready to ride off into the night. Oh, 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 are you guys ready? The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. Introducing first, from England, weighing in at 200 pounds, the Super Hybrid Champion, Gabriel Kidd. 
Here's a superstar just dripping with unearned pride. Oh, yes. How dare a superstar take pride in their work and success here in WWE? Come on, Saxton. Look, there's having pride in your work, but this superstar is just overbearing. I think they're just the right amount of bearing, actually. Word is that the champ was actually asking for this to be a title match, but the officials backstage wouldn't allow it. That is how competitive he is. WWE Universe is on its feet. And his partner from Venice Beach, California, weighing in at 303 pounds, the Immortal Hogan. From music videos to Saturday morning cartoons, Hulkamania is everywhere. Including this announce table. Try to be a little unbiased, Saxton. Hulk Hogan's recent dominance has been impressive, to say the least. Very few can actually stand up to his power. Would you say he runs wild on them? Michael, I've got a question for you. What you gonna do when Hulkamania runs wild on you? Byron Cole huh? asked you a question and you didn't answer. Look who's here. The Phenom has arrived. And demise awaits anyone who stands across the ring from the dead man. The Reaper walks among us. And from Death Valley, weighing in at 309 pounds, the You are looking at dominance without equal. Power from another dimension. One of the most prolific strikers in WWE history. A man who knows absolutely no fear. And the thing about The Undertaker is the attitude. The fact that he knows he's an incredible warrior, that he will do anything and everything he needs to to win a competitor who has survived the toughest battles wwe has ever witnessed Surreal moment here tonight. An awe-inspiring, truly frightening sight. The Undertaker's opponent better get ready. He's about to meet his maker. One of the founding members of the New World Order. And representing the NWO from Miami, Florida, weighing in at 280 pounds, Scott Hall. 
Call it what you want. Call it the razor's edge. Call it the outsider's edge. His opponents simply know it as the end. Indeed, no matter the name, you know it's going to hurt. Who can forget this man's immortal quote? Hard work pays off. Dreams come true. Bad times don't last, but bad guys do. Well, I'm pretty sure Scott Hall is about to cause some bad times for his opponent. Oh boy, here we go. Tag team matchup underway. There is a tremendous amount of trust that goes with being a tag team. Your future is not only in your hands, but in the hands of your partner as well. That's something to keep in mind during this one. Rudy Power Slam! Ah, oh, saw it coming. Defenses are sharp in this series of reversals. Look at a torch of their opponent. Uh oh, this isn't going to be good. Oh, my oh. man. Ooh, wee. He got whipped into that corner. Left an opening and got a kick to the face. DDT by The Undertaker. Up high. And oh, look at the well placed elbow right on the mark. The damage he's taken is starting to pile up. Taker showing that ability to adapt to any opponent. Uh-oh. Face first. Oh, my gosh. He's one step ahead there. their opponent in position for the second row with a moonsault. Cover! Only a one count before the kick out. Frankly, he should have known that wasn't enough. Oh! Lives to fight another day. Oh! Tagging his partner in now. Yes, tag! DDT! He must have seen that coming. Come on, there's no fair play in that. And there is no other term for that than just cheap. A cheap shot. And he wants nothing to do with any of that. Held in a perilous position. Can he do it here? Just gets the shoulder up. Couldn't quite slam the door yet. From behind. Suplex. Oh, look at this. In trouble here. And oh, what a great counter. That'll break it up. Caught square by the Haymaker. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. the arm ringer, followed by the leg drop. Delivers the knee. He's looking a little off balance. Yeah, Holster showing the immense power of the Pythons. Paul saw it coming. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Being carried around with ease. Oh, right to the front. Ooh. Tagged in. Oh, 
stomping away. Looks like it's going to take much more here. DDT! Somehow he saw Taker coming. Looking wobbly in the corner. Oh, targeting the arm. This has got to hurt. Trying to fight with a hurt arm is no easy task. He gets tagged in. Vicious right forearm. Punch! Oh my God! Split one hand! Far off with an elbow. Using their boot on the throat in the corner. Oh dear, this doesn't look good. Ouch! That's one way to get your opponent out of the corner. As we saw there, Hogan's not the only one in this matchup who can bring the fight with authority. And he from the top. Nobody home. Boot by the Undertaker. rivalry. All that's driving them is emotion. The emotion to destroy each other. Oh, made him pay with a rake across the eyes. Right to the kidneys from behind. Real European uppercut. Entertainment. This is a duo that really practiced their teamwork.